Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? It is Monday again. I hope you had a fabulous Mother's Day weekend. I hope you made good choices and you helped your mommy around the house. Oh, I know you did, because you're awesome. You're my awesome possum kinder. All right, boys and girls, are you ready for another math lesson? I hope you are, and we're gonna continue to subtract. We are subtracting. We have been subtracting for the past week or so, so we're gonna continue our lesson. I'm gonna share my screen with you, and we're going to write some more subtraction number problems. So here we go. I hope you're having a fabulous Monday so far, that you had a great breakfast, and that you are ready to solve some problems, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at the front of this page and it's, um, we're on lesson 12.6 and it's page 311. So what we're gonna do, boys and girls, is we're gonna go ahead and look at the 10 frames. Remember 10 frames is exactly what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and surround it in a big rectangle here. You see what I'm doing? That is the 10 frame. Why is it called 10 frame? Because there's five frames at the top and five on the bottom. So five plus five is 10 and they look like window frames. See that? That's one frame. So there's five, like I said, five at the top, five on the bottom, 10 frames. So how many of those frames are filled in? Well, let's take a look. We have one of them filled in right here. We have two, three, four, five, six. We have six frames that are filled in with beautiful seashells. You see that? Aren't those nice? Have you ever found seashells at the beach? I bet you you found some really nice ones, right? So here they have six seashells. And look, boys and girls, that's the first number that you start off the sentence, the number math problem. This, boys and girls, is called, remember that symbol? Minus, you're gonna take away. So what the directions are asking you to do is they want you to cross off however many seashells you want to and fill in the number on the, for the number sentence, the math problem. So let's do the first one, okay? Here we go. So like I said, you're starting with six seashells, one in each of those frames. Now, I'm going to ask that you mark off, right? You X out two. So you're going to take away two and you're going to do one, two, I went ahead and crossed off the last two and you're gonna write the number two down here. So you see the two is where the X E the colors, you're Xing out, they're matching green, the two. You do not have to use different colors, I'm just doing that so you could see what is going on. So, oh, okay, Miss Martinez, you're saying when you X out, when you cross off two, you write the two right there. And we started off with six, right? So the six, the six is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And now you're gonna put where equals right here, and that's gonna be right there, is how many are left over after you crossed off two? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, that means that six minus two equals four. Did you get that, boys and girls? I know you did. Let's move on to number two. Now let's see how many of those frames are, are filled in, right? So let's count. There are, again, let's, let's use the blue again, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six are, are filled in. And now we're going to minus. How many are we gonna minus? Let's say that we minus, mm, let's minus three. So we're gonna cross off three, minus three. 
One, two, three. Okay, so how many are left? One, two, three. Oh, okay, so six minus three equals three. Did you get that? All right, great job. Now let's go on to number three. There are, again, six seashells. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We're starting with the six again. That's how many we have right now. And now let's go ahead and minus, let's just minus one, okay? So we're gonna X out number one and cross off, here we go, number one. And how many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that means six minus one equals five. Got it? All right, I hope you got it. It was easy peasy, right? So now we're gonna go on to the other side of the paper, flippity floppity, and we have some awesome papers here. And boys and girls, these are some really nice pictures of beach, things like ball, like the beach ball, you, what you build in the sand, which is sand castles, or what you carry onto the beach, which is the sand pails, right? And the shovel, and there's a little twirly whirly wind, wind thing, right? It's like, those are really nice. So we're gonna start off. First, we're gonna read the directions carefully. Here we go. It says circle, right? Circle two beach items that equal the number on the left. Okay, that's good. So let's take a look at the number on the left. Which ones are they? Let me erase this one here. And this, in this case, this first row, number one, where the beach balls are, this is what you want to equal, okay? So we need to choose two numbers, right? What you start with and what you minus to equal to. So let's go ahead and do the first problem. Hmm, we have four minus two, four minus two. Let's use our fingers this time. Here's four, take away two. That means you're bringing down two. One, two. How many do you have left? Two, okay. So then that's correct, boys and girls. We're doing this one here. The first beach ball is equaling two. Four take away two is two. So you're gonna circle this beach ball right here, right? The next one is six minus four. So let's draw some circles. We'll draw six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six circles, right? Take away four. One, two, three, four. <gasps> How many are left, boys and girls? Two. Two are left. So this is another beach ball that equals two. Now, are you noticing that there's two different combinations of numbers that will give you the same answer? So let's take a look at those. Again, we have four take away two, and we have six take away four. That one also equals two. So those are two number combination that will give you the same answer. So let's go to number three. Look at the nice sand castles, right? One day we can go back to the ocean and we can make our sand castles, right? In the meantime, let's count and see which two of those number sentences will equal three. Are you ready? Here we go. So here is three. Hmm, let's use the castle. Let's see, three, let's do one, two, three, those three. And you're gonna minus nothing, look. You're gonna minus zero. That means you're still gonna have three, right? If you're not taking away anything, you have three and you don't take anything away, you still have three. So you're gonna circle this sandcastle because three minus zero equals three. Let's look at the next sentence, two minus one. Okay, let's go ahead and circle. 
two of those peaks. One, two. That's two right here. Let's minus one. Ready? They're going to cross off one. One. How many peaks are left? One. You have two. Take away one equals one. So that's not giving you three. Don't circle that sandcastle. Let's go to the next one. You have four. Let's see. Hmm. I'll start with the purple again. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, purple. There we go. One, two, three, four peaks. I'm going to circle those four peaks of the sandcastle. And we're going to minus only one. Ready? Only one. Huh. How many peaks are left? One, two, three. There are three peaks le left over. Huh. That's giving you the same answer. So circle this one. So there are two combinations in that row. Three minus zero. Three minus zero is still three. And four, take away one, right? Which is the same as minus one equals three. Huh. There you go. You have two, the first one and the last one. That gives you equals, right? That gives you an equal of three. Now let's go on to number three, and it's the beautiful sand pails, right? And let's work on that one. So you're trying to find the answer to give you four, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the first pail. You have three, take away two. So you have, look here, you have three, three, right? Minus minus two, three minus two, one, two equals what? One, so that's not four. Don't touch that pail. That's not giving you four for an answer. Now let's go to the middle one. Let's begin. We're gonna start with purple and it's five, five fingers, right? One, two, three, four, five, five. And they want you to minus how many? They only want you to bring down one. Ready? One. Huh. How many do you have? Four. Look, four. Circle this one here, because that one gives you four, right? When you minus one from five, from five, okay? So now let's go to the next one. Let's do this last one, six. Let's draw six circles. One, two, three, four five, six, and they want you to take away two. So let's minus two. One, two. How many are left? Four, right? You got it. So we're going to circle this one too. Got it? All right. Now let's take a look at these duckies. I'll erase that, and we're looking for an answer of five, okay? So let's do the first little ducky. Huh. Wow, imagine yourself in one of those and floating in the pool. That would be nice, right? Relaxing. So let's see which one of those combinations, two combinations, give you the answer of five left over. Here we go. Six, let's see, six minus one. Okay, let's draw again. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? You're gonna do those six minus one. Take away one. What does it equal? It gives you five. Yes. So six minus one, boys and girls, equals five. Good job. You got it. Let's do the middle ducky. Four minus four. Let's just use the fingers. Ready? Here we go. Four minus four. Oh, you're taking it all away because you're starting with four. You're taking away four. One, two, three, four. You have zero. So four minus four is not five, right? So don't touch that little floaty. Do not touch that little donut lifeguard. Okay, here you go. Now let's go on to number, let's go to this last one. It is, let's see. Five minus zero. Five, take away zero. Don't take anything away. How many do you have? Here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five. Don't take anything away. You still have what? Five. So this one is also a combination that gives you the same answer as six minus one. So you have the answers. The first ducky and the last ducky gave you the answer of five, okay? Well, I hope you liked your math lesson. You have some really cute colors and I hope that you followed along. But if I went too, too fast, please just go ahead and take a look at this video again. But hopefully I didn't go too fast for you. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. I'm so missing you. Time is going by so fast. So we need to keep learning and log on to IXL, work on some math problems. Those are the really cool math problems that you find under where it says math, right? Okay, I love you and we will see you tomorrow again. All right, bye.